Morning guys. Hope you guys are all doing well today. Getting ready to head out and check the trap line. It's rainy and it's just a weird day. Um, I'm ready for winter. Uh, it's kind of balmy. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go check the trap line. Yesterday we had an elk snap the one um, drag set that he had out and uh, I pulled it because it seems to be a pretty uh, good pathway for the elk right now and uh, I was fearful in resetting it the same thing would happen and we have snow coming uh, next week so so they say so hoping to get some traps out and in some different places when the mountain man gets back so um, as the mountain man says if uh, you're not into praying or reading the Bible, just jump ahead and we'll get into some trapping. Uh, but right now I'm going to read today's Bible verse. It's Romans 5, 19, and it says, Because one person disobeyed God, many became sinners. But because one person obeyed God, many will be righteous, be made righteous. And I think that's, I think that's an awesome verse it uh, shows that we have choices and it also shows that we can be a light and the mountain man and I and our family really are choosing to share what we share because we want to be a light in a very fallen and broken world and give people hope and inspiration and uh, you guys have choices too so remember that and uh, Choose the high road. We've been saying that a lot to the mountain boy um, while he's away at school. And uh, he's been making us really proud. Um, without us having to say anything, he's been choosing the high road. So that's also a good point, too, is what we, what we uh, display is what our children will also follow suit in most times. Uh, it'll be at least ingrained in them, and then they will be on their own to make their own decisions. But those are today's words for you and my thoughts and uh, I'm just gonna say a quick prayer here and we'll hit the trap line. Papa I just thank you for your love and mercies and grace for what you're gonna do in each of our lives and just wrap your arms around everyone watching and just uh, fill their needs whether it's healing, a new job, finances, marriage, whatever it may be just let them know you're present, let them know you're there Give them the comfort and peace they need to have the courage to continue walking things out. And uh, just be with the rest of those that are joining us that also are on the trap line. May their traps and snares be full. Be with the mountain man. Just keep him safe while he's uh, running another line. Uh, may he also have full traps and snares. And just uh, continue to give us all wisdom, knowledge, and direction and guidance. And uh, thank you for your love and mercies and what you're going to do in each of our lives. I love you and ask this in the holy and precious name of Jesus. Amen. Okay, guys. Going to hit the line. Hopefully I have something to share with you. All right. Catch you later. Morning, guys. Hope you're all doing well. It was a frosty morning today and the sun is shining. I am just as solar powered as my house, so I am very grateful for the sunshine. I'm heading out in the trap line and... Uh, as the mountain man always says, if you're not into um, prayer or Bible verses, uh, just jump ahead a couple minutes here and, and we'll be into trapping. Um, I would be recording more, but being that I'm driving the four-wheeler and maneuvering and all that, it's a little hard to video and do it all. So I'm doing my best. Hopefully there'll be something in the traps. Um, I made the right choice uh, pulling that trap the other day um, that had been snapped by an elk because they are just in that area really heavily so I made a good choice there uh, rather than resetting that and like I said we have a cold front supposedly moving in this coming week so uh, we'll take advantage of that and set and reset and move some things around um, the mountain man is expected back today so these are the Bible verses that I um, have for you today I have three of them um, I was looking in the Bible last night to be fed. I needed direction last night. I'll explain why in a second. But this is Psalms 103.1. Let all that I am praise the Lord. With my whole heart I will praise his holy name. 104.1, also in Psalms. Let all that I am praise the Lord. Oh, my Lord, 
I'm sorry, O Lord my God, how great you are. You are robed with honor and majesty. And Psalms 105.1, give thanks to the Lord and pro proclaim his greatness. Let the whole world know what he has done. Okay, um, the reason that I was looking for something last evening was because this week has been quite interesting. Um, the mountain man left on Tuesday and heading out, he had problems with the truck. We are, um, if you were following us last year, you know that our uh, financial situation has been pretty rough as a result of my medical needs and my life-saving surgery in 2016. Um, so the truck giving us trouble was a bit of a concern. Um, he had a long drive and uh, thankfully made it there, uh, figured out what was going on and somewhat remedied it. He didn't have to replace the part, uh, but we will. Um, and then uh, at the end of the day, after I was very productive and had a lot taken care of here, uh, the water pump on the house went. And um, I took that apart yesterday and cleaned the filter and was uh, checking all the wiring and still have not gotten any results with that. So I was um, moving water with buckets, which was perfectly fine. Um, and then he was on his return trip home um, after finding out that one of our uh, very dear family members was um, in the hospital and dealing with some heart issues. So uh, he was on his way back and was having more struggles. He did get to stop in to see the mountain boy on his return, but uh, it was just a grueling, it was, it's, been a, it's been an interesting week. And, you know, we get tired and we get weary. We still trust God greatly, but um, it's just human nature to get tired and worn out. And that's where we both were. So um, I have learned greatly through my illness to, uh, when, I, when I get to that place, to just seek Him. And that's what I did. And these are the words that He shared with me. And the thing that we need to remember is our perspective on things and our choices on things can make or break a situation or change um, the whole overall experience. Um, so if you're following us last year, you know we were in a pretty rough place. This year has actually been worse. But as you can see, our perspective has made us very different. And that is the beauty of being transparent, sharing our lifestyle and our life with you, is that Hopefully you are seeing the greatness that God is doing in our lives because he is bringing him home safely. Um, I still had water despite uh, a faulty piece of equipment, um, which of course we plan for. Um, but it's all added expenses, it's all added things, and our, our motto here is you just can't make this stuff up because it just keeps coming. And I think too that that's part the enemy fighting us um, for our efforts in sharing our journey as well as sharing God's truth with you all. So that being said, He is great, He is good, and despite that we are going through crazy stuff, I'm still celebrating him and I'm going to continue to do so. I am not wallowing in my own pity. I am not uh, worrying and, and dealing with fear because those no longer exist in my life since my illness. And I'm very thankful for that. Uh, so the more you focus on making God a habit and focusing on his goodness and celebrating him because he brings good from the ashes all the time. And that also just needs to be a practice in you seeing the gratitude and the goodness in your life. So I've spoke enough. I know he likes to keep these short. Uh, that was just what was on my heart today. I'm going to say a prayer and hit the trap line. Papa, I just thank you for your goodness and your greatness, your love, your mercies, and your kindness. It is just such a joy to go through life knowing that we are loved and well taken care of despite you know things that happen in the fallen world. I just ask that you be with everybody out there, those that are struggling and hurting, help them to see the greatness and goodness in you. Lead them to Psalms 103 to 105 and to just keep reading. Your, your word is a comfort, whether in the light or in the dark, and I'm just thankful that we are 
in a country that enables us to read freely and to share freely and hopefully that never changes but I just ask that you be with everyone today those trapping may they have success on their trap line may we have success on our trap line and just thank you for what you're going to do in our lives we love you and ask this in Jesus holy and precious name amen okay guys I'm heading out see you in a bit <music>